Okay, so, big news over at uh, Machinima. Uh, they have now announced, not only are they going to be, do they did the whole Gods and Monsters uh, Chronicle story, but now they've announced that they are going to be doing an animated Transformer series. Uh, and this one will be about Combinder Wars. Yeah, for those who don't know what combi uh, Transformers Combinders, uh, Combinder Wars is, it's actually an event that happened in the Transformers comics. It was a big story arc that recently just ended as of this year. Uh, basically, the story was that all the Combinders are just going to war. Everyone and uh, Windbla the uh, newest Autobot, Windblade, was a very important uh, part of the story. So, yeah, I find this really interesting that we actually have you know a recent, you know, very recent, might I add, very recent story arc to to a Transformers comic being here. So we're going to see you know Devastator, Predaking. Uh, Defensor, Menasaur, Computron, every combiner you could think of, all the combiners got together and was just all out war all across Cybertron, and it was kind of more or less Swindle's fault. Yes, yeah, Swindle was kind of, he was kind of like the big villain in here. Yes, yeah, Swindle of all of all Transformers. But yeah, I think this is a really cool idea of having, uh, you know, Swindle be in, the, you know, not just Swindle being the bad guy here. But I think it's just a really cool idea that, you know, uh, what was I going to say? That we're having a Transformers web series uh, on Machinima, because, as much, you know, Gods and Monsters was hit and miss with me. I, <laughs> I, you know, I liked the first, you know, I liked two out of three of them, and that, you know, two out of three ain't bad. Uh... But yeah, it looks like this series, it won't be like a mini-series, that's the other thing, the other major thing, is that the uh, Transformers Combiner Wars story will actually be like a whole season, which I don't know, I mean, the Combiner Wars story was only about, what, eight parts? So I guess eight episodes will be a season, and if they want to do more, I guess, it, uh, that's a big possibility. Uh... So yeah, that's kind of the thing right there, is that you have, uh, you know, this kind of big story arc kind of dragged out, and I don't know if you can honest I don't know if you can honestly want to do, I don't know if you'd really want to do that, really, if you'd want to have, uh, this kind of, this kind of story arc, uh, played out like that, because like I said, it's, it was actually recently, you know, a lot of people have been saying, I've read a little of it, and it's been really good, like, we haven't really had a really great start, uh, Transformers story, since Megatron, you know, all hail the Me all hail Megatron story and Combiner Wars was really like this another major Transformers story arc. Although I I didn't read it, but I heard Dark Cybertron was actually really good. I heard that Dark Cybertron was also a really good story as well. So may have to go back and read that. But yeah, with this uh, series, uh, I don't know if you can do a whole se you know a whole season around it. Maybe it'll just be an eight part series. You know, if this is Machinima, and they, you know, I don't think they would have the budget to do like a whole twenty six episodes. So it may be the whole series may be about you know eight episodes long, just as long as the comic book story arc was. That that's including, by the way, that is including the little mini series about Windblade that they had. Because like I said again, she had a major role in it. She was actually paired with I think Defensor? Yeah, I think it was Defensor. Um, in here. And she also in the comics has a connection to Metroplex. So I'm wondering if they'll have that like in there as she did here. And I'm also surprised that, you know, how, you know, Windblade has gotten so much popularity as of late because obviously she's only a recently announced recently introduced Autobot and now she's she's apparently in the Robots in Disguise cartoon. She's apparently in that and yeah, uh, again, she plays a major role in Combinder Wars and don't get me wrong, you know, Optimus, Hot Rod, you know, all the a lot of other Autobots in here play big parts in here, but it is mostly focused on the Combinders just be, you know, going Pacific Rim on one another. And trust me, I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure seeing it, you know, and this probably won't hold back. This was actually a very bloody comic as well by Transformers standards. So, you know, we're gonna see some uh, some Combinders like uh, Defensor and Devastator and Predaking and Abominus. Every Combinder you could think of, more or less, was in this story, and they're all just beating the shit out of each other. So, I think that's going to be the driving point here. But yeah, uh, so you guys tell me, what do you guys think of Transformers Combinder Wars becoming an animated uh, series on Machinima? Uh, do you guys like the idea? Do you guys hate the idea? What do you think of, of uh, Windblade being such a big character lately? I really like the character, even though she's only recently appeared. I'm surprised of how much spotlight she's getting, so good for that character. Uh, 
but yeah, are you guys excited for, you know, uh, <laughs> are you guys excited for this series to come out? Are you excited for Combiner Wars? And also, are, what other sh um, story arcs, if we're going by IDW Comics, should be made into animated series? Personally, I want All Hail Megatron to be an animated series. I would absolutely love if Machinima was like, yeah, you know, Combiner Wars did so good, how about we do All Hail Megatron? Because All Hail Megatron's freaking awesome, guys, if you haven't read it. Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.